Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to sort out the problem I have with the headlights height adjustment. For the xenon lights I have definitely noticed the problem with the height sensor which is located just right here. I don't know. This is the height sensor connected with the arm there. Now, I don't know if you can see here, we'll take a better video, close up. Um, definitely two of those pins are corroded. I've taken a couple of good pictures of the cable orientation at the back, as you can see here. And I have bought new connector and crimps. Anyway, I broke the one locking pin, as you can see there. And uh, let's try to see how that can be removed in order to uh, crimp our new cables. We shouldn't need a lot more uh, cable length. As you can see here, it should be fine. So I want to try to find out how this can be removed. I think you can slide this. Just like that. Can they be removed? So what I ended up doing here, I didn't replace the, the cream connector. It does look okay up close and uh, if you insert it, it seems to grab well. So what I'm going to do is use the same one with the new socket that locks both sides and uh, I will take it from there. Now I have replaced the uh, plugs from the empty one and now the last cable goes like that and it clicked in place. Very nice. I've also cleaned the, the socket here with a baby wipe to get as much dirt oops, as possible away and I'm going to use a bit of silicone spray so that the connector slides in as intended. Let's see. Oh, that's nice. And there is a new socket connector. So here is the connector, the broken one, and the original one I removed from the car. And uh, I ended up not cutting the cables, just cleaning it again, and uh, put one of the new ones with the proper lock clip uh, in place. Now I wanted to show this do have a second locking mechanism that goes there. And if you put this again 
you can see just right there there are the locking tabs but it also locks using this uh, pin here this flap that you need to uh, push inside here with something like that or a small screwdriver to get it released now it didn't replace because this uh, crimp press I have it's not the correct for this uh, type of weatherproof connector I think this one is for DuPont style or something like that and uh, so this can be removed actually so we can take a better look at the this green uh, lock tab so again when you move it here it's the unlock position and when you move it, let's take a look at it so here are the locking tabs and here it is locked so at the moment the code for the xenon lights hasn't come back I will uh, leave it as is and get the proper uh, cream tool uh, for the job uh, I hope you find this video helpful thank you for watching and see you on the next one bye